if you aren't this person, I'm sure you know of somebody who's like this, where week to week, it's something different. I found it. This is all I have to do. If I, if I do blank, I got it all figured out with my golf swing. And then they get let down, or you get let down. And the following week, it's something else. Now I got it. This is all I got to do. And then you sit at home and you watch a tour event. And the guy who's winning the event, or the girl who's winning the event, they show a video of them when they were five years old, six years old, seven, eight years old. And their action basically looks exactly the same as it does today. Their setup looks the same, their grip looks the same, and some of them completely unorthodox, right? At least in, in our minds. But why does that happen? Um, they're in tune with how their body moves. They know that they need to grip the club a certain way, set up to it a certain way for their body to work the way that it needs to work. Um, you'll hear stories like this nonstop. You know, a uh, guy that I play college golf with, super, super strong grip, outrageously strong, right? And his deal with coaches was, don't touch my grip. I'm not gonna mess with it. I know this works. I'm sticking with it. And he's been a good player forever. Um, now, that is a talent in itself that a lot of people don't have. Being able to say no when somebody comes to them with some new idea. Um, now, some of these players just so happen to fall on you know, being able to figure out what they needed to do. Some of them <clears throat> got really lucky and had good coaches that uh, knew when to keep their mouths shut about technique. Um, but at the end of the day, this can be something for you too. Uh, you can have this as well. It's just, you gotta know how your body works. So, got a guy come out a couple days ago who uh, from time to time uh, tries to feel like a, a real heavy load into his right side. Well, when I screened him, his load position was here. So he's a front poster. He wants to hang out on his left side and utilize verticals to create power. Now we know he shouldn't be messing around back here at all. Uh, at most, it's a little bump to about the nine o'clock position and then he's back over here getting ready to jump. We also found out that he's an under golfer so his right elbow wants to work out in front of his body, right? So now, he doesn't have to mess with feeling like the club is going outside of his hands or having a weak grip. He's a strong grip guy, and <clears throat> he's got to utilize verticals to create power. So having said all that, again, like I've said in quite a few videos now, you got to get screened so that you're not just guessing, because guessing is just going to be, you know, little band-aids that you put on your game. You're going to feel good for a few hours, for a few shots, and then it's gone. Um, instead, you got to find out how your body works and get in tune with that and be able to know exactly how to set up to the golf ball each and every time and be able to free it up, just like the pros.